Hi, uh, my name is Benjamin Masre. Uh, I'm going to present on the tool Audacity, which is a musical tool. So, uh, first of all, that's the logo you can see there. And uh, we'll go into the tool description. So here's the website to find uh, the tool and download it. So it's a free, easy-to-use audio editor and recorder. They can do a lot of things with uh, like li live audio recording, converting files into different formats, adding effects and sounds, and editing sound files. Uh, so what are the system requirements? Well, it works on pretty much everything. It works on Windows, Macs, and Linux. Uh, no special requirements. Pretty basic uh, versions. And uh, the awesome thing about this is that it's absolutely free. Uh, so the pros and cons. Um, it can seem a little bit complicated and overwhelming when you get on there, but there are a lot of resources, so I count that as a pro. There are a lot of resources out there to help you use this program. It has to be kind of complicated because you can have, you can do a lot of things with it. There's a lot of effects you can do with your recordings or your sounds. Um, one of the cons is that um, if you want to do certain things like import or export files in different formats, uh, you'll have to install, install several additional programs. Um, to uh, make it work with this one. Uh, my experience with it, um, I downloaded it and uh, it's relatively simple to use and uh, for the basic things and then there, there's just a lot of resources to help you if you're trying to do something more advanced and make you to help you create what you want. Um, the design however is not, it's not beautiful. Um, it's it looks a little bit cheap. It's it's mostly just gray. It looks a bit old, like a Windows 97, 98 version or something. Um, but bottom line, this is a great software to have on your computer. Um, it's incredible. It's free, and uh, if you need to do something with uh, sound files or recording, it's a great tool to use, and it's free. Uh, different ways of using it. Um, I already kind of mentioned it, but. So you can record whatever you want. Um, you can edit your recording or a music track you like. Uh, you can you can play back so you can play any sound and then change effects. Like in the demonstration, we'll see uh, he slows the music down, he speeds it up, uh, he changes the pitch. So a lot of different things you can do that way too. Uh, so here's a demonstration, quick demonstration I want to show you guys. So this is the original song. Um, so here he's gonna um, change some things here. Um, and you'll see you'll see what it does here. Skip it a little bit. That's uh, much faster. Pretty kind of funny video. Um, there's something else he does here too. He's slowing it down here. Much slower. And here's some other things you can do. You can change the pitch. So this might be actually just speed it up. I think here he's changing the pitch. Okay, so that's a little bit on how to use that. Um, so that was my presentation. Uh, here are my citations. Um, these are all helpful links to, uh, I mean, I guess not to review ones, but these 
uh, websites do have information on how to use it. Um, so yeah, I definitely encourage you to check this uh, program out. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye.